Hello yogis, welcome back to the Zen Den. Fancy meeting you here and welcome to day 21 of the 30 pose journey. Today's posture is wheel pose, Urdhva Danya Rasana. I'll say that one more time, Urdhva Danya Rasana. And we're still in the all the feels experience, so that heart and hip opening space. Go ahead and unroll that yoga mat, make sure you're nice and warm and let's get started. All right, so you're on your mat, you're ready to open your heart. A few pointers before we get started. Wheel pose is incredibly intense. It's definitely an intermediate to advanced posture. So if you're coming into it and you're not finding it, don't fret. It takes time and practice and patience. Some things that can help you along the way are using a looped strap around the upper arms. Oftentimes when you go to lift up, the elbows will splay out. It's really nice to have this strap here to hone it in and keep everything in alignment as well as the knees will often splay out too because we don't have the strength in our inner thighs yet. So you can also place a block in between your upper thighs as you lift off. And even if you have an awesome wheel pose, I still recommend squeezing the block in between the thighs. It really helps create that interaction. Aside from that, if you're really just not ready to come up into wheel, you can come into bridge pose, a wonderful heart opener as well, and then make your way up into wheel pose. So we'll actually start with one bridge pose and then we'll do two wheel poses together. I'll do one with props and one without props. Let's find our back, slowly lay down onto the mat, coming into that bridge pose to start. So feet are hip width distance, knees are bent, palms are down by our sides. This same action of the knees hip width distance and keeping them honed in is what we need in our wheel pose. So on an inhale, drive down through the heels, lift the hips high, Feel free to roll one shoulder under and then the other, and just take three breaths. Here, focusing on the legs. So squeezing the knees into the midline, driving down through the heels to lift the legs up higher and open the hips. Take another round of breath. And exhale, lower it down. Here we go, we're going straight into wheel pose. So take one hand back and then the other hand back. We're going to come up onto the head on the first inhale. So before we even start, feet are hip width distance, knees are hugging in together, belly is a little active here, you don't have to squeeze it super tight, and on an inhale, push into the heels and hands, lift up onto the crown of the head. All right, you're here and we made it. One tip I really love is let the elbows wing out and then hug the shoulder blades back onto the back. From here on an inhale, push into your hands and feet lift through the hips and heart. You got this, take two deep breaths. Focus on hugging everything into the midline as you lift and open through the thoracic, the mid back, opening across the collarbone and the armpits. One more round of breath. Exhale to slowly lower down, hug the chin in as you slowly come down to your back. And then just let the knees windshield white from side to side. Relaxing the body. All right, so for this next one, I'm gonna fully prop it up. You can stay lying down for a moment. If you've got that block and you wanna try, you can do this in bridge pose too. Take it vertically and hug it between the upper thighs. And then with the strap, we're gonna bring it around the upper arms. We do this a lot in yoga to create upper body strength. Okay, hopefully this doesn't, yep, okay, we got it. <laughs> Bring the hands back behind you. On an inhale breath, come up onto the crown of the head. If you've got the strap, you're not gonna really be able to wing out, but if you don't, wing the elbows out, hug the shoulder blades onto the back. And on an inhale, lift on up. Take three rounds of breath, maybe come up on your tippy toes to make some more space. Another inhale. Exhale, slowly lower, tuck the chin. Don't get strangled by your strap and let it go. Release the props if you had them. Begin to windshield wipe the legs from side to side. And then on an inhale breath, meet me up in seated pose.
Okay, so how did that go? What came up for you? Where were you feeling stuck? Start to notice that, maybe journal it down, take some photos to really compare what's working and what's not. Don't be afraid to use props, please, ever. Always move into it with a warm body and a warm mind. And yeah, if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out. I'm here to help you. And I'll meet you back here in the Zen Den, duh, for the next day of our 30 pose journey. Hey, journey goers, Allie here with a huge favor to ask you. If you love practicing yoga alongside me and want more of it, then please subscribe to the channel. By supporting me, you inspire my journey, which then I hope inspires yours. As always, thank you for stepping on the mat with me, for being a part of this community, and for making the commitment to live your journey.